Hello people and welcome back to our channel. In today's talk we are going to build a ChatGPT UI. It's actually going to connect to the ChatGPT APIs and we will have a our own UI that connects to ChatGPT. I have uh, used Vue.js and Vuetify as the uh, UI component framework to have material design. As you can see here, I have a form that user can ask a question like this, and it can send uh, the question to the ChatGPT, and then we will re receive a response from ChatGPT. Now, um, we also have a theme changer here. Uh, so you will have the GitHub repository for, for this uh, UI so that you can follow with me the rest of the course. And one thing to mention is that you actually need to have a uh, OpenAI account with a subscription that enables you to access the APIs from JGPT. Uh, once you have your account created under platform.openai.com, you should be able to go to your profile and view the API keys, create a new secret key for yourself. In my case, I already created it, but you can create for yourself and use it while you are coding with me. And after that, we need uh, the, to install this uh, Node.js package because we are using uh, Vue.js to connect to ChatGPT. However, it's not recommended to connect to ChatGPT from Vue.js because whatever you write in Vue.js, it will be available on the browser and your secret key is visible on the browser. So in an ideal situation, we we connect to ChatGPT or to any third party using credentials in a server and then we expose APIs to the client like in our case Vue.js to connect to the server and do a specific task. In this case, connecting to ChatGPT. But since it's a tutorial on how to connect to ChatGPT. We will use uh, Vue.js to directly connect to OpenAI. First thing, we need to create a .env file in the root directory. And you need to have a variable called white underscore OpenAI. OpenAI. The first portion, white underscore, is compulsory, your variable should start with this because in Vue.js, which is a white application, when you access a environmental variable, you need to prefix it with white underscore. The rest of the variable name is as, your, as you like, whatever you can name. And then the rest is your secret key from OpenAI. So that's it. And then we install the npm uh, module for the OpenAI. Let's paste it here, and this will install install it. So that's all. This is installed in the um, folder structure of this project. We have nothing special. We in the main.js application we connect to. Uh, we use the dependencies of Vutify and material design icons. Then we create an instance of uh, Vutify with a default theme, which is dark by default. And we use this Vutify in our view application. Other than that, we have app.view, where we have defined our uh, app bar. And with this theme changer, uh, which is quite simple, then uh, in the views, we have home view, which is uh, rendering the chat component. If we go to the components, we have a chat component, which has a child component called message. So each single message is rendered using this component. And we are use, uh, sending the data as props from the parent com component, which is chat, to the child, which is message. That's quite it. It's very simple. And now uh, let's try to connect to ChatGPT using the 
uh, npm module that we have installed already. Let's create a folder under src. I'll call it helpers. Inside this one, I create a file. Let's call it use openai.js. And here, what I can do is to actually connect to OpenAI. For that reason, let's import OpenAI from OpenAI. And let's also import the secret key from the .env file. Let's declare a variable import.meta.env env dot white underscore open AI key. Now let's create a configuration. Okay, let's define a variable first. And this configuration takes an a, per, a, a property of API key, which we pass the key that we have got from the environmental variable. Now I declare another variable that we create an instance of OpenAI and we pass the configuration that we create. And let's export this uh, mod as a module so that we can import that in the components of Vue.js components. Now that we have this, let's go to the chat component and let's try to import it here from helpers use, use OpenAI. Now if I save, I should get an error. And that error uh, says that you are running a browser-like environment. So this is ChatGPT SDK, uh, tells you that you're trying to use uh, your secrets uh, secret key inside the browser, which is not uh, recommended, but as we talked already about it, so we are going to use it, and for that, we need to pass this parameter in the configuration of ChatGPT API. So we paste it here, and we will say true. Now we should have no issue. Great. Let me create a function here that connects to ChatGPT. And let's also make it as a sync. Let's create a chat compilation. And we use OpenAI that we imported. Now we create an instance of the chat completion from the OpenAI module. This takes a property of messages. And as you can see, the messages property should be an array because we need to keep the history of the conversation while we are chatting to ChatGPT. And this object takes two properties. One is rule. Always when we quiz ask a question from ChatGPT, the rule is user. And when ChatGPT answers to us, the rule is assistant. So they are important. We should do exactly as the documentation says. If you go to the doc API reference, chat, create chat completion. So the rule is either system. Let me show you. In the ChatGPT playground, they have a playground here. Hi, how are you? If we have this. So, this is the user. Answer is assistant in ChatGPT. And you also can have system variables, let's say, that you can, let's say that you're going to learn Postgres and your conversation is about Postgres. So you already define as a system variable for this conversation that my aim is to talk about Postgres. So whatever conversation you have here, 
you are telling ChatGPT that please consider that uh, it's about Postgres. It's a extra layer of uh, adding information to your questions for ChatGPT. But we are not interested in the system. But rather we will only think about user and assistant. Now the content will be let's have a question. Hi, how are you? This is our question. And let's also specify the model. I'm going to use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. You can use whatever you like to. And with this one, we should be able to see the response from ChatGPT. Let me console log it. Chat completion dot choices of zero dot message. Let's get rid of await from here, but use it there. And let's save it. So now that we have the the function that connects to ChatGPT. Let's call it. Here is the first response from ChatGPT. Our question is how, uh, hi, how are you? And ChatGPT responds with, hello, I'm an AI, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here to assist you. How can I help you today? This is the response that we got. Now let's, uh, ask the question from the form. To do that, we have this user input. I'm going to call the chat function when there is an input from the user, right? But let's pass something to this chat. And that something is the messages array. So whenever the user asks a question right now, we get that and push it to the messages array and then we can call the ChatGPT uh, chat function to and pass that messages array. So I pass the messages. We get it here. Now instead of this hard coded question, I can pass this array of messages. Now let's see how it goes. Hi. What day is today? He's not going to be able to answer this question, but let's see. Okay, first thing is that, let me refresh. Rule is user, content is message dot value. Okay, yeah, so I have to pass because it's a reactive variable, so we have to pass when we call the chat method, we pass messages dot value. This way we actually ask the question Hi, what day is today? So he's answering I apologize, but I am an AI model. I don't have the ability to determine the current day. So this is this is the answer. If I now ask another question, tell me about Python. It takes some time and we get a response. So Python is a high level programming. This is the response from ChatGPT now. Great. Now that we have the response from ChatGPT, let, let's add those in the chat history and render them here. However, they are, they are already uh, getting uh, printed here, but we need to push them into the messages array so that they are displayed here. For that, I could do like this, messages dot value dot push and let me copy this guy here I could actually directly 
use chat completion dot choice of zero dot message. That should work. Let's see. Hi. And we get the response here and render it into the screen. So one thing that I want to um, show you is that if I ask about a another question, let's say write a Python program to calculate if a number is prime. So we have to wait and then the, the response comes, right? But if we go back to playground of, cha of this ChatGPT, if we ask the same question, the same question if I ask here, you see that the data comes as a stream. How is this possible? So let's try to implement this one. 